I'm going to give you guys a little different video here today. This is going to be a little bit longer one, but um, I did this video, and there's the title of it, and it was uh, this weekend's video. It was more information on terraces, and I completed completed the video with the, uh, some clips of a TV series, and I made the comment just on how disconnected people in Hollywood really are from from a reality of what's going on here on the farm. And they usually make us out to look like a bunch of uh, dumb, ignorant hicks. Well, anyway, that video got supposedly flagged because it was, quote, copyrighted by whatever owns that show. Now, I wasn't there to uh, replay the show. I was there to point out the, the stupidity of it. So, amazingly, that got pulled off the uh, internet. So, if you don't see that Terrace and Tile video again, now you'll know why. Uh, a couple, about a week or so ago, I'd, I had made this video uh, about the Economy Barns, and I never did the follow-up to it. So, here, this next clip is the follow-up to that video. Well, here's that uh, E canopies that I put up, a uh, little horse barn. It's done, it's got a few leaves on it now. But uh, holding good, doesn't look bad, it's shape of the barn. And there's that big ass round pen. And uh, there's the inside of the barn. There's what seven inches of rain does when it's horses milling around. But uh, she put some uh, wood chips down in there. Looks pretty good, nice and dry. Probably put a little bit more just to kind of hopefully just keep packing them in. I might do some corn stalk bales for her, but uh, anyway, horses are good and dry. And uh, by the way, between the time I shot the original video and now uh, Skip did pass away, he had a brain tumor. But uh, Bouncer is uh, her main horse. So if all she's got is the one, I don't know if she'll get another one or not. <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> Nice weather for was it fourteenth of October? It's ridiculous. Hey, why is that guy levitating? Oh, he's on a four wheeler. Hi, Gary. <laughs> well, as you saw in yesterday's video, the uh, Fan 1050, I went ahead and unveiled it, and I was gonna do some teasers on that, but I just went ahead and dropped the ball on because I figured you guys were gonna be catching in the background anyway. This is just a picture of a V1300. And uh, this next clip, you'll be seeing me put the uh, first dump on it. It's the uh, first dump it's ever had. Um, worked great. What I'm seeing in the cart already, I really like it. And you know, as you can see in this picture, how the auger comes out at an angle. And I'll talk about that more and do reviews on the cart throughout the season. But it works great. Here goes nothing. First dump. Ever been on this green cart? Ever. Since uh, mid it came off the assembly line. I think I shut the trap. I guess I'll find out. I did the video here of Terraces Explained in a planner quote I threw in at the end. And I, since these are public comments, I'll just go ahead and read this one. You can read it along here with me. Uh, after watching a video on Terraces, not sure why would spec a high speed planner when it appears that you spend more time going around in semicircles and turning. Uh, around LOL. By the time you get it wound out, you'll be downshifting and turning around. It feels like that you'll be pumping a wet year on 1631s with skinny tires. Uh, Massacre and grows appears you have plenty. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's some truth to that statement, but uh, there's a lot of not truth to that as well. I mean, winter skinny tires going to be good for anybody. And, and who the hell doesn't have endros? I mean, even on bottom, you're going to go around the outside edge of your field unless you got hay around this. I mean, aren't you turning on those as well? I mean, didn't you catch the part where I explained to turn the 40 foot of uh, endros? I mean, there's a reason you have to turn. It's, it's, it's kind of the same thing as farming a bottom. And yes, a high speed planter works very well because you can go back and forth in the straightaways. Uh, we have no problem going seven and a half mile an hour around terraces. And that statement's just by somebody that doesn't know what the hell they're talking about or never done it. They don't live here, they don't farm it, they don't know what they're talking about. This is nicely shaped, perfect terraces, two to one slope, perfect cut. Plant right up next to the basement, no weeds, no trees, just beautiful. This uh, farm here, you can see all these terraces. These are the ones I spoke about in my video. I did the other day about terrace designs and layouts. And I received a comment on that about a high speed planter that you can never ever go around these terraces and never work. I have no clue why that guy said that. I mean, these roads are a mile long. This is not that, this is pretty 
Creek Jelly Roy uh, Hills. Complete moronic statement. The guy has no clue he's talking about because uh, you know we have absolutely no problem. The high, the high speed uh, planter actually helps us. And yes, the fence is in action. Uh, there's a picture of a dealer lot with Addy looking or picking at the tires, but uh, we love it. Uh, it's a great tractor. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of this reviews and information on it and the whole nine yards. So stay tuned for that, including this next little clip. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Beautiful, beautiful tractor. Love it. This is steering, it actually like returns the center. See the wheel kind of comes back like a car. Ah, it's great. But it is awful soft out here in the field. Well, last for the day, I'd got some really negative comment here on this uh, 3020 hauling hay and uh, Chad in the video. Of course, back I put this up August 24th, 2018. But you can read this for yourself. Uh, this guy named Bill Dill. Dill Hole, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, you can read this shit yourself. And he goes on to talk about the school systems. He, he clearly didn't get any of the information I was trying to convey in my message. So I figured I could flip the camera around for this crap. This one actually kind of pissed me off, this message. And, you know, that was not the point of my video. The point of my video was to talk about what laziness teachers have anymore. The teacher in this, teachers used to, well, let me back things up. My uh, grandmother was a school teacher, and my dad was, and she taught school for over 20 years, and my dad was on the school board for about uh, 12 to 13 years, and uh, until he just couldn't stand it anymore. But every year, they would go into binding arbitration, they would argue, and they would increase the teacher's pay. I mean, no matter what, the arbitrators would come in, they negotiate. Teacher's pay went up every year, period. Uh, grandma's pay went up over the years. When she started, you know, things were a lot different in the 1960s than they are right now. But regardless, uh, she worked for her living. She, she tried very, very hard. Uh, my grandmother, she, she not only would grade papers at the end of school, she'd help kids after school. Nowadays, I talk about these kids, they're, they're using an iPad. What is there to grade on an iPad? It's automatically checked yes or no. I'm sure that the assignments are automatically graded. Um, teachers work less hours. Now they're wanting to push into the Iowa schools uh, four-day school weeks, which is just stupid. And to, to read comments, you know, they say, you know, he goes on to talk about, I'm a bad businessman. The guy doesn't know anything about me personally. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't, I don't know whether to chalk it up as a, as, a, as a troll or just a complete asshole. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to start doing more videos with this kind of camera angle. Um, be sure to stop by and give this guy hell. Uh, I had a really nice guy here the other day that actually stood up in some comments uh, on, on escalating videos I had done. Let's see if I can pause. There's several of you that watch every day and comment on a regular basis, and I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Um, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Really got a lot of good comments in this 1050 video I did. Thank you very much for, for stopping and leaving your well wishes for my father as well. Appreciate the great comments. Uh, that Bill Dillhole guy, I don't like. Uh, this guy here, Brian Banks, if you're watching again, thanks for the comments. He stuck up for me here the other day and gave some, some of these trolls complete hell. Uh, if he wants to go give old Bill Dillhole a bunch of shit, uh, go for it, man. Appreciate it. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Thanks for watching, and um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I think I'm going to be doing more of this kind of camera angle here. You can pan around the office, all the toys up there. Shit ton of paperwork for all the uh, all the records there. That's all bullshit records for employees. Amazing. Anyway, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Oh great! SCR 007's back. Just had a case out here to fix that. Damn it! Here we go again.